Hi everybody, in this video we're going to help you get started with Google Classroom. We'll talk about how to create a class and how to use Google Classroom's most important features. In a nutshell, Google Classroom is the hub for online assignments and information for your classroom. It's where you can assign work and students can access their work. You can have instant access to student work and you can grade it from Google Classroom. You can also use it as a tool to work directly with students on their work in real time. So to get started with Google Classroom, let's go to classroom.google.com. It's possible you might see a different screen here, but you're looking to create a class. So we'll click on the plus sign here and select Create Class. You'll be prompted to enter some information about your class, but the only thing we really need is a name for this class. Now this image that Google Classroom gave us is a little random, so we can click on Select Theme to look for something else a little more academic and click on select class theme. You can also do this later on if you want. Now notice this class code here. This code will always be visible. This is the code for students to join. And of course, you'll get your own code. Post the code on a whiteboard or in an email and then students can join the class by going to Google Classroom at classroom.google.com and clicking on join a class and entering the code. That's it we've created a class in Google Classroom. Now let's learn how to use one of the most important features of Google Classroom, assigning written work. For a lot of students, especially the younger ones, one of the easiest methods is to create a starter document in Google Docs. So let's say for example that you want each student to write an animal report on the animal of their choice. We're going to open up a new tab in our browser and take a quick detour to Google Docs at docs.google.com. Then we'll create a blank document. We'll name this document Animal Report with a title. And just click at the top left to name the document. And that's all you really have to do, make a simple starter document. If you want, you can add subheadings or other information to structure it a little more, but any document will do, even a blank page. Then we go back to Google Classroom. To create this assignment, we go to the Classwork tab, then Create, and then choose Assignment. We'll just title this assignment Animal Report and give some quick instructions. Instructions are optional. Then click on the Google Drive icon. There are the documents in our drive and under Recent Documents, our Animal Report Starter Document is right there. Let's click that and Add. And now pay attention to this very important step. When we click on this arrow on the bottom right, we get a couple of options. What we want is make a copy for each student. That creates an individual copy of each student's animal report. Students will get only their individual copy of the animal report starter document that we just created, and then they can modify their copy with their writing. Click on Assign, and you can see, and students can see, the assignment in Google Classroom. They just need to click on that and that will open up the Google Docs starter template document so that they can start writing. So let's jump ahead in time and assume that all of your students have joined Google Classroom and they've started writing their animal reports in Google Docs. Now, when you click on that assignment, you can see the collection of each student's work. I've hidden the names of my students, but you can see that if you click on any one of them, then you can view each document and you can use this arrow up here to page through all of your students' work. Let's go back to this first assignment by a student we'll call Jason. Now I can see that Jason is doing a pretty good job, but I'm noticing that he's incorrectly capitalizing some nouns here. So I'm going to highlight those words and then click on the plus sign on the right. That opens up a comment box so that I can let him know what he needs to correct. He'll see this comment and then he can correct the problem and mark it as resolved. I'm going to undo that comment now and show another way to handle corrections. If I click on this green icon up here, you can see that we're currently in suggesting mode, which means that anything I type in the document is just a suggestion. I can instead choose editing mode so that I can just make direct edits. You can use this mode when you're working on the same document with your students side by side, each of you with your own computer. And I like to use this mode to model making edits during the whole class instruction. Now let's go back to the main Google Classroom page and click on Classwork again. Another easy but very useful task 
is just to post information or links that students can use. Go to Create and select Material. I'm going to give students some quick information about the animal section of National Geographic Kids. Then let's click on the link icon and I've already copied the web address so I can paste that here and click on add link. Then click on post and now students can see this post, open it up, click on the link and they have instant access to the website. So now you can see that we have an assignment and a link to a useful resource to use for that assignment. Those are a couple of the basic building blocks of Google Classroom. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.